How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review and today we're going to be looking at these Japanese gummy snacks by Senjaku and these are actually by the same company but this one was actually a few dollars more. I'm not sure why but I know this one is supposed to taste like a soda I believe but I thought it was a really cute and I wanted to be able to compare the taste of a uh, both of these different uh, gummy candies. So the first one that we're going to try out is going to be this one. It has a really cute uh, porcupine on the front. And as you see the paw here, eating the porcupine paws. And you guys already know, if you've been watching my previous video, I'm not a big fan of grape. But some of them aren't as bad as uh, other ones I've tried. So, it says, Happy Nik Nikiyu. And then at the top it has some uh, writing in Japanese. And this is what the back looks like. It has a really cute uh, depiction of the porcupine. A little bit smaller and you get the whole image. This is a how long it's good till and it has 23 grams of sugar that's it has it in uh, English as well 21 grams in one container but yeah I also like the little depiction of the paw right there as well but yeah this is the first one and then this is the front of the next one you know, I'm actually looking at this now a little bit closer, and it looks as though it's going to be filled with something. Rather than this one, it's just going to be a solid uh, flavor or consistency. The polar bear is really cute, and I also like the seal down here as well. And uh, this is what the back looks like. Another cute depiction of the polar bear. And then two paw prints as well. And then some little uh, snowflakes. And this one has uh, 24 grams. All right, let's go ahead, open them, and try them out. up on that a little bit. Oh, there we go. No problem. This is what the inside looks like. Kind of has a uh, zoom in on that real quick. Kind of has like a shininess to it, like a stickiness, but it's actually not sticky. It's just covered in sugar, which is uh, not good for me, but probably will taste good. Let's see if I like it since it's grape. Not the greatest that I have ever tried, but I can actually stand this grape flavor. So I definitely uh, like this more than other grape things that I've tasted. I might actually buy that one again if I'm sharing it with somebody. Let's go ahead and uh, open this one now. There we go. Ooh, look at that. That's what the inside of this looks like. This one has a completely different uh, look. Wow, look, you can see right through it. Let's zoom in on that. Look at that. So this one's supposed to have some kind of filling to it. So I have no idea what flavor it is, though, because I can't uh, read Japanese. So without further ado, let's try it out. So this one kind of tastes, I would say, a little bit like cola, 
It was my fiance that told me this was supposed to be cola flavored or soda flavored, but I'm not 100% sure because I have never tasted anything like this. So if you could let me know in the comments below what flavor this is, that'd be much appreciated because it's really good, but I don't know what it is. So I think I might have one more actually. It just hit me. There was a familiarity to the end of this taste. I think this is a uh, standard ramen -A flavor. If you don't know what ramen -A is, ramen -A is a Japanese soda. It comes in a skinny little bottle with a marble you gotta pop down at the bottom in order to get to the soda portion. Very interesting drink. That's what I think it is. That's my guess. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. Alright guys, I think out of both of these, I ended up liking this one a little bit more. But even though this one was grape flavor, I think it still tasted uh, pretty good, which is surprising for me. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.